good God of praise. Amen. Amen. Y'all glad to be here this morning? Amen. Amen. What better way than come back into the house of the Lord, amen, than on the day that he got up with all power in his hands. Amen. Amen. And because he lives, amen, we can face tomorrow. Amen. Amen. I'm glad to see your happy faces. Amen. I, I like the deacons. Amen. I love the deacons and I love the trustees. Amen. But ain't nothing like seeing the people of God. Amen. In the sanctuary. Amen. Where we can praise and fellowship with one another. Amen. Amen. And that's what we come here to do today. Amen. Amen. We thank God for a beautiful, beautiful Easter. He has blessed us to see. Amen. And again, amen. We try to have our modified service. Amen. But we come here to praise him. Amen. Amen. As I see, amen, Ms. Ruth and Ms. Mamie sitting beside each other. Amen. Two of our older members. Amen. 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 And when I went to visit a few weeks ago, amen, I stopped by to see both of them and I told them, we're going back to church Easter Sunday. Amen. They both were happy. Amen. And Ms. Ruth told me, I'm coming. Amen. Amen. And she is here. Amen. But again, we thank God for each and every one of you. And we were glad when they said unto us, let us go into the house of the Lord. Amen. At this time, Minister Beatty will give us our scripture reading. Following that, we will have our prayer by Minister Gillian. Scripture reading will be coming from Luke, the 24th chapter, starting with verse 1. Now, upon the first day of the week, very early in the morning, they came unto the sepulchre, bringing the spices which they had prepared, and certain others with them. And they found a stone rolled away with, from the sepulchre, and they entered in and found not the body of the Lord Jesus. And it came to pass, as they were much perplexed thereabout, behold, two men stood by them in shining garments. And as they were afraid and bowed down their faces to the earth, they said unto them, Why seek you the living among the dead? He is not here, but is risen. Remember how he spake unto you when he was yet in Galilee? saying, The Son of Man must be delivered into the hands of sinful men and be crucified, and the third day rise again. Amen. Amen. The word of God for the people of God. pray. All wise and merciful God, we thank you for the opportunity just to call upon your holy name. Thank you, Lord. We thank you for the opportunity to come into your place of worship one more time. Amen. Lord, we thank you for this day, for it is the day that thou have made, and you said for us to rejoice and be glad therein. Amen. And Lord, I'm thankful for all things. We ask and pray that you forgive us of all our sins. We pray that you forgive us for the things that you tell us not to do, and we do it, and the things you tell us to do, we don't do. But we're thankful that you still blesses us in spite of our sin. You look beyond our fault, and you see, and you meet our need. You met them over 2,000 years ago, and you gave your only begotten son, Jesus the Christ. He came down through those 42 generations and died on that cross for our sin. He went to that grave in our stead. And he stayed there for those three days. But he rose up early that morning. We thank you that you allowed us to see another Easter, oh God. And we pray as we go through this day that we we'll do things and say things, conduct our lives like Jesus, to be more like him and less like ourselves. 
When so much is going around in this world, we know who holds the world in his hand. It's you, oh God. Although the coronavirus has, may have delayed us, it has not stopped us. And we thank you for that. We ask and pray you bless this church, the pastor of it, the immediate family, the extended family as well, the deacons and the trustees and all that affiliated. But as he said earlier, bless the members, oh God. Keep them in your care. Keep them through seen and unseen things. As the old folks said, through many dangers, toils and snares, I've already come. It was grace that brought me safe this far, and grace will lead me on. So I thank you for another day's journey, oh Lord, and I'm glad about it. We pray, Heavenly Father, that whatever we say and do today, that you'll get the glory, that you'll get the honor and the praise that due to your holy name. Bless the one that's here and bless the one that might be on their way. We ask and pray that you grant them traveling grace and mercy. Keep them through seen and unseen danger. These things we pray in Jesus Christ's name. Amen. 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 Uh, I would just like to say I'm so glad to be here again. It's been a while. But to see y'all faces and to be able to fellowship and lift up the name of Jesus together, I've been waiting for it. Thank you, Lord. Amen.
Amen. He arose. Amen. Yes, amen. He arose. Amen. Again, amen. We'd like to welcome each and every one of you here with us this morning. Amen. And happy birthdays and anniversary to those that may be celebrating. Amen. Miss Ursula, Deaconess Ursula Wright. Amen. Celebrated her birthday on last week. Amen. Amen. So happy birthday to her. Amen. I told her, amen, when you turn 50, amen, you ain't going up the hill. You ain't coming down the hill. You sitting on top of the hill. Amen. <laughs> amen. Happy birthday. Amen. To a sweet lady. Amen. Amen. Please give those on our healing list in your prayers. Amen. Continue praying. Amen. For Trustee Pete McDuff. Amen. Continue praying. Amen. For Miss Nellie Elmore. Amen. Knowing that God is a healer. Amen. And only God can truly work it out. Amen. Continue praying. Amen. For Miss uh, Ethel Browning. Amen. As she is in rehab. Amen. Continuing doing well. Being herself. Amen. 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 Also, amen, keep my buddy and friend, amen, to uh, the church, amen, the husband of Miss Deborah Bird, Brother Pee Wee Bird, in your prayers, amen. Amen, and special prayers for his nephew, amen. His nephew was in a, in a very serious car accident, amen. He's currently, amen, in an induced coma, amen. Amen, so please keep that young man in your prayers, amen. 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 Continue, amen, praying for all bereaved families, amen, those who have loved ones who have went home to be with the Lord. Amen. 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 Continue God, uh, praying that God's comfort them, comfort them. Amen. In their time of bereavement. Amen. amen. Again, amen, as we have stated, amen, we are glad to be here. Amen. 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 And unless, amen, uh, uh, we don't plan on, amen, amen. Now, I'm going to say this, amen, that baby is excited. Amen. Yes, amen. 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 It ain't nothing wrong with that. Amen. But what I'm going to say is this. That baby should be more excited than us grown folk. Amen. Because that baby don't know the full goodness of the Lord yet. Amen. She just started living. Amen. And it'll be a shame if we leave here today and that baby make more noise than anybody. Amen. Only thing bad about that baby, amen, she's sitting on a Pittsburgh still a fan lap. God bless that baby. Amen. Amen. But again, amen, we are excited and delighted to have each and every one of you uh, here today. Amen. Amen. And as I was saying, amen, the only way, amen, we plan on not having church, amen, is if we having church in the heavens on high. Meaning he done come back and took us home with him. Amen. 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 We pray, amen, you continue being safe. Amen. We pray you continue being cautious. But we also pray, amen, about the vaccinations, amen. It's, it's whatever, amen, you feel in your heart, amen, but do what you think is best for you. Amen. amen. Because one thing I have learned, amen, the media, amen, will give the story that they want to give. Amen. And they will tell, amen, that so many people, amen, have uh, died from taking the shot, but they don't tell of the so many people that's done lived. And if you do the percentages, it's probably less than 2%. Amen. 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 So all news, that's one thing Donald Trump said that was true now. now. Fake news. <laughs> fake, fake news. Amen. It is some serious fake news. But again, amen, we thank God for you. Amen. And we pray, amen, as you all go out this, throughout this day, spending time with your family. Amen. We remember, amen, that the best day of them all is Easter. Amen. For he rose with all power in his hands. Amen. Give God a hand clap.
greater love. Amen. Amen. And what Jesus did for us. Amen. Amen. Over 2,000 years ago. Amen. Amen. No greater love. Amen. Than one that will lay down his life. Amen. For sinners like us. Amen. Amen. That's a reason to praise him. Amen. Amen. That's a reason to tell God thank you. Amen. Amen. We bring you greetings this morning. Amen. God the Father, Jesus, his risen son, amen, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. To our very fine ministers, amen, our wonderful deacons, our trustees, amen. We thank God for our trustees, amen. 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 A lot of times, amen, trustees do behind the scenes work, amen. 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 And they don't let nobody know it, amen. 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 Maybe nobody but me, amen. Amen. But they don't let nobody know it because they do it from the heart. Amen. And we thank God for those men that he has placed to serve here at the New Prospect Baptist Church. Amen. And to the wonderful members. Amen. We thank God for you. Amen. And we're glad to see y'all's faces this morning. Amen. 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 We're going to do something different this morning. Amen. Everybody turn your Bible to the book of Matthew, chapter 28 and verse 1. Amen. Matthew 28 and 1. Amen. Yes, sir, 28 and 1. Amen. If you have it, say amen. Amen. We're going to wait a second. Amen. 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 We, but we, I'm going to tell you all this. We're going to read from all four Gospels, and then we're going to let the Lord have his way. Matthew 28 and 1. Amen. Ready? Let's read. In the end of the Sabbath, as it began to dawn toward the first day of the week, came Mary Magdalene and the other Mary to see the sculpture. Amen. Now turn your Bibles to Mark 16 and 2. Mark 16 and 2. Amen. You have it? Say amen. Amen. Ready? Let's read. And very early in the morning, the first day of the week, they came unto the subsidy at the rising of the sun. Amen. Turn your Bible to John 20 and 1. John 20 and 1. Amen. If you have it, say amen. 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 Ready? Let's read. The first day of the week coming Mary Magdalene early when it was yet dark unto the sculpture and see the stone taken away from the sculpture. Now, amen, turn Luke 24. Amen. Minister Beatty has already read, amen, verse 1 through 7, I believe she did. Amen. So we'll just read verse 1, amen, and we'll go on. But our scripture reading today is Luke 24, 1 through 7. But we'll just read verse 1 since Minister Beatty, amen, has already read. Ready? Let's read. Now upon the first day of the week, very early in the morning, they came unto the subsidy, bringing the spices which they had prepared and certain others with them. Amen. You may be seated. Amen. God's word for the people of God. Amen. We want to talk from a topic this morning simply entitled, Amen, That Sunday Morning. That Sunday Morning. Amen. I've been told by a few of the seasoned saints that back in the day, there were certain things, amen, that you didn't do on Sunday. The laundry, amen, or mowing the lawn were no-nos. I've even been told, amen, that many families even prepared their Sunday meals on Saturday evening. Can I get a witness? Amen. Amen. And what they would do, amen, after church on Sunday morning, amen, they would warm it up, amen, in the oven, and everybody would eat, amen. And I even remember 
and it hasn't been that many years ago, amen, just about every state had what they call blue laws. To where, amen, it was illegal for certain things, amen, to take place on Sunday. Or certain stores could only open up after 1.30. Can I get a witness? Amen. But as I look, amen, in 2021, amen, Sundays are just not what they used to be. Amen. Sundays, amen, I remember coming up, amen, you may have had dinner at your house. You may have had dinner at grandma's house. Or you may have went out to eat. But before that Sunday was over, amen, families would find themselves gathered together at Big Mama's house. Amen. Can I get a witness? Amen. And while you was at Big Mama's house, amen, you would play with your cousins, amen. And I remember when I would go to my mama's side, amen, my grandpa would be watching football, amen. And then my grandma would find herself watching the Lifetime channel. Amen. The channel for women. Can I get a witness? Amen. We'll talk about lifetime another day. Amen. But, but, but we, amen, we have to get back to acknowledging God every day, but especially on Sunday. Sunday, amen, is a set aside time, amen, for us to gather together with our brothers and sisters in Christ to lift up his holy name. Sunday is a day, amen, that we have set aside, amen, to where we worship and praise God for the goodness that he's done in our life. Amen. I'm not telling you, amen. Yes, every day you should acknowledge God. Every day you should praise God. Every day you should read God's word. Every day you should talk about God. But Sunday is a day set aside. Amen. For us to worship with one another. Amen. Can I get a witness? Amen. And yes, amen. On this particular Sunday that we are talking about, amen, it was a once in a lifetime event. Amen. It will never happen again. Amen. And my brothers and sisters, there are benefits to what happened on that Sunday. The first benefit is forgiveness. Amen. Because of what happened on that Sunday morning many years ago, amen, we are forgiven for our sins. Amen. Matter of fact, amen, the Bible says, amen, in the book of Isaiah, that by his stripes we are healed. Amen. Amen. We are healed. Amen. We are forgiven. Amen. And I want to tell you this morning that no matter how bad you have done, amen, you are forgiven. Amen. No matter how far by the wayside you have fallen, you are forgiven. Can I get a witness? Amen. No matter, amen, how bad things seem, no matter how bad things seem they may be, amen, you are forgiven. Amen. Amen. So, we have to be careful, amen, because what happens is the devil will creep in there and try to tell you that you are not forgiven. Amen. What will happen, amen, is that you have done so much bad, amen, in your life, and in truth be told, we all have done some bad one time or another. Amen. amen. And if we keep on living, amen, we're going to continue doing some bad. Can I get a witness? I mean, but what happened, amen, is that the devil will send somebody your way because everybody that comes your way, God don't send them to you. Some people that come your way, amen, the devil send your way to remind you of the wrong you have done. And that's why so many people, Deacon Briggs, when they are trying to do good, when they are trying to press forward, the, the, the devil sends the enemy around to remind them of the things that they have done and they will find themselves back at the liquor house. Trying to drink their problems away. They will find themselves back, amen, buying that, that crack cocaine or that meth, amen, trying to get high away from their problems. Amen. Am I right about it? But I want to remind you this morning, amen, that nothing that you have done, uh, uh, it can't be forgiven. The Bible says that the only thing God will forgive us for is blasphemy against the Holy Ghost. Meaning that you ain't a believer. Can I get a witness? Anything else, amen, God will forgive you. I want you to know this morning, amen, that uh, I know, amen, you don't think you can be forgiven, but you are forgiven. And I remember back in the day, amen, when folks would do some wrong, amen, they would make them get back in front of the church and apologize. But unless they rolled the church, amen, they shouldn't have had to get back in front of the church because if that's the case, all of us should have been lined up asking God to forgive us in front of the church. Can I get a witness? 
Amen. The next thing, amen, because of that Sunday morning, amen, the next thing that we have, amen, we have power. Philippians 4 and 13 tells us, amen, that I can do all things through Christ that strengthens me. Amen. And because he got up, amen, I have the power, amen, to face Satan. Because he got up, amen, I have the power, amen, to face today. Amen. A lot of times we say tomorrow, amen, but tomorrow isn't promised. We have to worry about today. Can I get a witness? Amen. And because, amen, he got up, because, amen, he allows me to have power through him, amen, I can face everything I need to face. Too many times, Deacon Wright, us as Christians, when hard times come, amen, we go find ourselves and lock ourselves in our house. Amen. When bad times come, amen, we go find ourselves locked in our room, drowning in our tears and our pillow. I want to tell y'all this morning, amen, that it is all right to cry sometime. But when you get through crying, amen, dry off your eyes and keep on fighting for the Lord. Can I get a witness? Because, amen, God has given you the power that you need. Amen. To be able to overcome anything. Amen. Amen. The Bible says that we are conquerors through him that loves us. And that's one of the first things they teach us, even when we are the age of that little baby back there, amen, that Jesus loves you. Can I get a witness? Amen. That's one thing, amen, that we learn, amen, and Jesus loves you. I heard this on the radio when I was pulling in. Jesus loves us like those of us that have pets, like your pet loves you. What are you saying, preacher? No matter how bad your day has been, your pet still loves you. No matter, amen, how bad you talk to that pet, that pet still love you. No matter if you forget to feed that pet, that pet still love you. And all I'm trying to tell you this morning is that he loves you no matter what you've done in your life. He loves you. Amen, he loves you. And he gives you power, amen. And the next thing he gives you, because he got up, amen, I have forgiveness. I have power, and the next thing I have is hope. If Jesus wasn't raised from the dead, amen, we would have no hope for the future. The Bible says, amen, in 1 Corinthians 6, and God hath both raised up the Lord and will also raise up us by his own power. Amen, I have hope, amen, for my future. Because I know who holds my future in their hand. Can I get a witness? Amen, I have hope, amen, that one day, amen, we're going to get back to some kind of normalcy. Amen. I have hope, amen, that one day that God's children will find themselves back in the house of praise. Because we have to realize, amen, we can't put our hope in man. And that's what's wrong, Deacon Hunter. The world has got to where they put their hope in their leader. That's why y'all see things like what happened on January the 6th. Because their hope is in their leader. But I've learned, Miss Bessie, that I can't put my hope in and man, truth be told, I can't even put hope in myself. Can I get a witness? Because myself lets JJ down sometimes. Amen. Myself, amen, does things that God has told me not to do. And that's what hurts us, amen. I talked about this a few weeks ago, Minister uh, Gilliam. That's what hurts the church. Sometimes we put too much hope in the past. Can I get a witness? I ain't telling y'all not to love me. I want y'all to love me. I love y'all, but our hope is in the Lord. Can I get a witness? Yes, amen. We have to have hope in him. And because he got up, amen, I got much hope in the Lord. Amen. Because he done something that had never been done. And I know you're sitting there thinking, well, preacher, in the, in the book of Mark chapter 5, amen, Jairus' daughter had died, amen, and Jesus went and got Jairus' daughter up. He even cleaned out the room. He told them, don't worry, amen, she is sleeping. Can I get a witness? He went in there, cleaned out the room, told her to get up, and Jairus' daughter got up. But the thing about it, Miss Ruth, is one day Jairus' daughter died again. When I think about Lazarus, amen, in John 11, amen, we all know the story of Lazarus. Amen. Lazarus, amen, who was Jesus' friend, had died, amen. He told his disciples that I have, we have to go 
Lazarus is asleep. His disciples said, Jesus, if he's asleep, what are we going for? Jesus made it plain to him that Lazarus is dead. Can I get a witness? Went, amen, to the grave, told Lazarus to get up. Lazarus came out the grave, told him to take them grave clothes off of him. But one thing about it, Sister Surratt, Lazarus had to die again. Can I get a witness? Told y'all, amen, that this particular Sunday was a once-in-a-lifetime event. And as we look here, amen, the first day of the week, very early in the morning, a lot of people, amen, when they look at the calendar, amen, you see that the first day is Sunday. And the last day of the week is Saturday. Many people, amen, have asked the question over the years, why is it that we don't go to church on Saturday? Amen. Saturday is the Sabbath day. Saturday. Can I get a witness? Amen. Amen. But the reason why we don't go to church on Saturday is because on Sunday he got up. Yeah. And since he got up on Sunday, amen, we find ourselves on Sunday giving him praise. And I've learned this, Miss Deborah, that if sometimes and when you don't go to church, your week just don't go right. Why is that, preacher? Because Sunday is the first day, and when I step my house in order on the first day, the rest of my week is going to be all right. Can I get a witness? But that's why, amen, and that's why us as people, amen, on Saturday, the Sabbath day, we find ourselves resting. Some of my brothers in here, amen, we find ourselves doing the honey-do list. Amen, but we find ourselves, amen, able to relax and enjoy. Can I get a witness? But that's why we find ourselves on Sunday morning at the house of praise. But they went to the supper. They bought the spices, amen, they had prepared certain items. But they found the stone had been rolled away. Many say, amen, that the stone was too heavy. For it had to be multiple men, amen, to be able to move the stone. Can I get a witness? And the stone was being guarded, amen, to where the, they thought that maybe the disciples would try to come and steal his body. But what was going to take place, amen, the disciples couldn't do this work. Can I get a witness? What was going to take place on that beautiful Sunday morning? Only the Lord could do it. And I want to tell somebody this morning that if somebody in here, they need a stone rolled away and you find yourself the well, you just can't do it. And you call on your family members, but y'all can't get that stone out of the way. I come to tell you this morning, just keep leaning and depending on the Lord. Can I get a witness? He'll move the stone out of the way. Because there's somebody here that's dead this morning. What are you saying, preacher? We are amongst the living. There's no casket laying here. No, you're not dead physically. But you found yourself dead spiritually. Can I get a witness? And I want you to know this morning. That everything is going to be all right. Because you're looking at a man that at one time I was dead spiritually. I was doing all the wrong things. I'd find myself in the church. But my mind wasn't on the Lord. My mind was on what I'm going to do later on that evening. Who I'm going to find myself linking up with and having a good time. But I want to tell you this morning that the God I serve, he can resurrect you and he'll restore you spiritually. Can I get a witness? The Bible says that they were afraid because they went looking for Jesus. And the angel asked them, why do you seek the living among the dead? Because he had got up. I want you to know this morning that because he got up, like I told you a while ago, I am forgiven. Because he got up, I have power. Because he got up, I have hope. And my hope is built on nothing less 
but my Jesus blood, the blood that he shed way back on Calvary, the blood that'll never lose his power. I'm trying to tell you about this Sunday morning. Is there anybody here that's like me? You get joy when you think about when they whipped him all night long. You get joy when you think about how you had to carry that old rugged cross. Must Jesus bear the cross alone and all the world go free. No, there's a cross for you and you. There's a cross for you and you. And there's a cross for me. Can I get a witness? I get joy when I think about how they stretched him wide and how they hung him high. They made a mistake, Briggs, because they failed to remember if he be lifted up from the earth, he'll draw all men unto him. Is there anybody here that want to lift him up this morning? How about you lift him up? How about you lift up Jesus? The last time I saw you, I couldn't move this arm, but thanks be to God, I can lift him up. Can I get a witness? He bowed his head, and then he died. They put him in an old buried tomb. Why did they put him in a buried tomb? He was burning it because he knew he wasn't going to be there long. He was burning it because he knew he was going to use it temporary. He was burning it because he was just laying there for a little while. Somebody said he laid there all day Sunday, but somebody said early. I heard him say early. I heard him say early. Sunday morning, he got up that Sunday. The world changed. That Sunday, he got up. That Sunday, your healing happened. That Sunday morning. Lana Richie made the song, amen, easy like Sunday morning. Yes, sir. Amen. The hard part had taken place. Yes, sir. We remember, amen, last week we talked about him riding into Jerusalem on the donkey. Amen. The hard part had taken place, amen, when he, amen, got to thinking about what he was going through, amen. He prayed in the Garden of Gethsemane, amen. That was the hard part. The easy part, amen, was when he got up. The hard part was when they were whipping him because we have to remember that even though he was Jesus, he was in the flesh. Amen. At any time, amen, your flesh get hit, amen, it hurt. But the easy part was when he got up. See, they thought it was over. And somebody in here this morning, amen, somebody think it's over. Somebody think it's done, amen. Amen, but if you have the faith the size of a mustard seed, amen, God can resurrect your life. God can change your life. God can work it out, amen, and you'll be able to say amen on that Sunday morning. Amen, somebody met him on a Monday, Tuesday, somebody met him on a Wednesday, Thursday, some on a Friday, Saturday, but most people met him on a Sunday morning. I went to the meeting one night and my heart wasn't right. Something got a hold of him. And they met him on a Sunday morning. You'll be able to tell your story. And can't nobody tell it like you can tell it. But we all have been through something. Jesus went through something. But he got up. All I'm trying to tell you, amen, no matter what you're going through, amen, you can get up. You're going to get up. But don't give up. Giving up ain't an option. Getting up is, amen. Amen. Give God a hand clap of praise.
Amen. Amen. Does everybody have a communion cup? Amen. It should be right in front of you. Amen. Amen. It should be right in front of you. Amen. For I received of the Lord that which I saw delivered unto you. That the Lord Jesus, the same night in which he was betrayed, took bread. And when he had given thanks, he broke in and said, Take eat. This is my body, which is broken for you. This do in remembrance of me. After the same manner also, he took the cup when he had supped, saying, This cup is the New Testament in my blood. This do ye as often as ye drink it in remembrance of me. For as often as ye eat this bread and drink this cup, ye do shew the Lord's death till he come. Wherefore, whosoever shall eat this bread and drink this cup of the Lord unworthily shall be guilty of the body and the blood of the Lord. Amen? Amen. At this time, amen, we'll have our prayer by Deacon Charles Bridge. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you so much for the one who's on the room. Let them know that you're there with them, Lord. Mm -hmm. Lord, and all the ones that's not here, who got the heart and desire to be here, let them know, Lord, you are with them. Yes. On this day, Lord, Heavenly Father, don't want to take up too much of your time because we know what we need before we leave out. Yes, sir. Amen. The bread symbolizes his body, which was bruised and broken for us. Amen. And what better Sunday, amen, to have our communion than on Easter Sunday? Amen. Amen. By his stripes, amen, we are healed. You are healed, amen, from whatever you are going through. You are healed, amen. Do eat in remembrance of him. Amen. Two separate parts. Amen. The wine symbolizes his blood, which was shed on Calvary's cross. And without the shedding of blood, amen, there would be no remission of sin. But thanks be to God, amen, for the blood that will never lose his power. Do drink in remembrance of him. Amen. Amen. As you exit, amen, one, uh, uh, Brother Al will have for you to put your communion in, and Brother Craig will have for you to put your tithes and offering in. Amen. Amen. The, uh, the song says, amen, we're going to have a time, y'all, we're going to have a time when all God's children get together. Amen. We're going to have a good time. Amen. And I'm glad to see all of y'all this morning. Amen. We pray you all have a wonderful Easter Sunday. Amen. Amen. We pray you all are able to spend time with, with those you love the most. Amen. As we remember our Savior who got up. Amen. 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 And like they used to say back in the day when y'all watched Bat uh, Batman, amen, next week we'll be here again. Same church time, same church channel. Amen. 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 The Jesus in me loves the Jesus in you. 
the Jesus in me loves the Jesus in you so easy. So easy. So easy. Easy to love. The Jesus in me loves the Jesus in you. The Jesus in me loves the Jesus in you so easy. So easy. So easy. Easy to love. Father God, Lord, we thank you for this day. Lord, we thank you, Lord, for allowing us to come to this house of praise one more time. What better Sunday, God, to come back into the church than on Easter Sunday when you got up with all power in your hand. Dear God, Lord, we pray as we get ready to depart this place, but never from your presence. God, you keep us in the palm of your hand because that's the safest place for us to be. Dear God, Lord, be with those going in for testing. Be, for, be with those, God, that's in the uh, hospital. Be with those, God, that have been confined to their homes. God, have mercy on the bereaved families. Dear God, Lord, we thank you and we love you. God, as we go through this day, Lord, let us remember God, that you are the reason why we are here. Lord, you are the reason why we can face tomorrow. Lord, you are the reason why we are healed. Lord, you are the reason why we have protection. Because you got up with all power. And because you got up, Lord, anything is possible, dear God. Now, may the grace of God, the love of Jesus, and the sweet communion of the Holy Spirit rest rule and bow now henceforth and forevermore. And everybody said amen. amen. The Jesus in me. Loves the Jesus in you, the Jesus in me, loves the Jesus in you, so easy, so easy, good, hey little baby, how you doing, easy, easy to love, how you been doing, how you been doing, I got something to give you, I love you and you can't do nothing about it, how you doing Miss Shirley? I love you. How you doing, my dog? And, uh, no, what's up, softball baseball player? I love you. And you what's up, softball player? That's it. 